Attention! Most of the process to remove the storage interposer from a compute tray is the same, except the upper tray will need to be turned over halfway through the process. To remove the storage interposer, press the release latches on the front cover and remove the cover. Press and hold the blue release latches on both compute tray release levers and simultaneously pull both levers straight out from the server. Pull the compute tray forward evenly until it stops, then press the release tabs on both sides of the tray to slide the tray out from the chassis. Remove the upper compute system board or compute system board filler first. Locate and press both of the upper compute system board release latches and slide the board or filler from the compute tray. This will give you access to disconnect the two fan board cables from the lower compute system board. If this is the upper compute tray, you will need to turn the compute tray upside down. Ensure that each compute tray or storage tray release lever is in the fully open position. Press the blue fan cage release latches on each side of the fan cage, and then pull the fan cage from under the mounting tabs of the compute tray. To prevent damage to components, lift the fan cage straight up when removing it from the compute tray. Slightly tilt the fan cage to access and disconnect the fanboard cable connection on the underside of the fan cage. Lift straight up to remove the fan cage from the compute tray. Remove the RAID flash power module cable from the clip. Disconnect the cable. Disconnect all power and data cables from the storage interposer. Disconnect the RAID card from the storage interposer. Leave the three cables connected to the RAID card. Remove the screw securing the storage interposer. Slide the storage interposer to the left and remove it from the tray.